I am, I am being there, Charlie, man. Back at it again, man. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button for me. I mean, and I appreciate everybody that's been donating to the cash shop. Cash tag being there, Charlie. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my new channel, This Journey Called Life. But we're going to get into the news today, man. And we're going to break it all down and give y'all factual information. But I appreciate everybody that's been subscribing to the channel. All the new subscribers love y'all. I appreciate y'all love. I mean, I, I keep on subscribing to me, keep on showing me love, man, and I appreciate it. But I am billionaire Charlie, man, with the great news and great information. And you know me, man, when I talk about it, I like to give y'all factual information, correct information, man. But let's talk about it, man. G Money, man. Everybody been accusing uh, uh, NBA young boy for the situation because of the beef that they had. These was two young kids that grew up together. They had a relationship before the rap scene and, and before they became famous. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it was rumored when the, the incident had first happened that it had something to do with some uh, OGs from the neighborhood that he owed money to. And then it went from that to NBA young boy had some involvement. Now, now they found out the guy from 2017 that uh they allegedly posted had pulled the trigger on him and took his life he had a family you know what i'm saying a daughter that he was taking care of you know what i'm saying like i tell everybody man you got to put the guns down and start doing things in a reasonable way and start showing more love more than hate you know what i'm saying and that's the uh issue and the problem that we have in the communities man when you get to that certain statue, you got to be able to communicate and be able to solve problems without killing and hurting each other, man. And that's one of the things that we have to change in our culture and our situations. But like I say, man, it was a lot of rumor and stories and alleged situations that were going on prior to this incident happened. You know what I'm saying? With the beef between NBA Youngboy and G-Money, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it was first rumor or speculated that it was something doing. First, they were saying it was like some OG. He owed some money. Then it, then it was saying it was like a robbery that went wrong or something like that. And they was talking about how he was coming out of the studio, how it, it all seemed like a setup. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, they, they got the guy that pulled the trigger, man. So I guess they're going to get all the information they need out of him. We don't know if he's going to tell or if he isn't, you know what I'm saying? But like I told people before, man, when you live in a lifestyle like that, you know what come with that, you know what I'm saying? There's life sentences, you know what I'm saying? No longer being able to see your family, you know what I'm saying? You might get a payoff for doing a job like that, but at the end of the day, man, you got to know what come with that. The repercussions for taking somebody's life is very, very deadly and crazy. But that's all I got on that, man. I am being that child, man. I love y'all. I appreciate all y'all tuning in. Thank you.